What's up, you guys? I was going to uh, find a nice little spot to pit out and talk, you know, about a particular something uh, with nice scenery in the back and everything. But I figured I'd just cut to the chase, you know what I mean? Not make it like this super lengthy 15 minute video. But um, for people in my life right now who have been very quick to call out aggressive, angry, and seemingly elementary or I guess you could say petty anger and, and actions from me. Um, what I want them to remember uh, uh, throughout all of this um, for everything that I've done in terms of trying to take control of my own destiny, invest in myself, <clears throat> is to really think about from the start who's had my back on this and who hasn't. If you want to really look at like, you know, the importance of being in tune with your emotion, it's incredibly important in life to be in tune with your emotions. You know what I mean? Um, we'll start with, you know, basically from when I left my job, you know, on my own accord, I left. I didn't, they wanted me to stay. I left. I bounced. Okay. And I go, you know, the month and some change without work, right? People fail to understand, and I'll call it out, what Westcom Credit Union did to me in terms of putting me in a horrible financial hole, telling me in my in my in my uh, checking account and with my debit card that I had four hundred and eighty dollars available. I gift two hundred dollars worth of subs for people to my Twitch channel so people can enjoy while I laugh, play video games, and have beautiful energy with people to give a good message, right? And that puts me in a hole where I'm negative $180. I call and ask, how did that happen? They say, oh, we're experiencing glitches we've never heard and seen before. Is that in my control? No. So it's like, I don't need to raise my voice and get angry, okay? There's one embedded piece of anger right there, okay? Then, in my time of growing, you separate and realize who you want in your life, who you don't want in your life. You make that decision. You send a very clear message to people that you want to relay that to someone else. They don't do it. So you take matters into your own hands and go directly to the source. Okay? You want that person gone and out of your life. And then, people close to you call you and bring that person up people close to you text you about it bring that person up and they want to act like they're not keeping that person alive and they want to act like i'm keeping that person alive or think that that person has any relevance in any any part of my life in any part of i don't need to go pettiness but in any part of my life they, they literally have nothing to do with occupying any type of fucking space in my mind. Other people bring them around. They inadvertently, unknowingly sneak them into the picture during my live Instagrams. Let that sink in. Think about that. Everything that's going on in my life right now. Having to get loans to pay my rent. Having to sneak by and ask people for money for food, ask people for money for help, getting pushback from people that I didn't expect to get pushback from on that, getting help sometimes, getting questioned always, and then people want to act like I need anger management, which maybe I do, and maybe that would be extremely beneficial for me, but people want to act like I'm some type of like scary monster now that hates women and is out to get women. I fucking love women. I don't want to be. I, I, I've learned right now that the way that I am friends with people, I treat everybody equally in terms of like what my all, what my go to is is do I have an agenda or do I have a motive? If the answer is no, which it's always no, then to me it's like an open boundary where it's like. You know, if we're cool and we're just friends, it doesn't matter if I text you three times in a day and go like two weeks without texting and then text you again. Like people act like I'm like, like I want to constantly be texting people all day, every day. People that know me know that's the exact fucking opposite, dude. I give space 
And in moments where, you know, people want to say, oh, I'm overly emotional and I cry all the time. That's fucking bullshit. People that know real pain know what tears are and when they come, it's because they mean it. You know what I mean? And it's like, I've spent, I don't know how many times in my life giving people space and time away from me with zero tears shed. Because I'm like, tears aren't even worth crying about. And I'm living in uncertainty that entire time as well. Unsure if, you know, certain friends are going to be in my life. Certain friends aren't going to be in my life, right? So if they want to hit me with, you know, oh, you're overly emotional. You know, you're you're overly aggressive. You're overly angry and, and shit like that. How about taking a step in the, in the direction of looking at the entire fucking picture of everything going on? Keep in mind on top of that all the other shit that I'm dealing with in terms of like, you know, and you guys have no idea how many people I've cut out of my life and blocked because you think it's just one fucking person? <laughs> you think it's one person? Dude, there's several and and people, people they don't even know that I blocked them so they're bringing it up like, you know, they're, they're, they have no idea what's gone on and it's none of their business and stuff like that but there's definitely people that know how I feel and stand about people and where I stand with them and they're gonna act like oh like oh yeah dude you should be so chill and it should be so nonchalant that if I bring them up it's cool it's like no how about if you understood everything that I dislike about this person and how badly I'd never want to see them or fucking hear from them or run into them or even think about them again then you'd maybe think a little bit about bringing them fucking back up to me You know what I mean? And people want to act like it's not a test. Like, oh, they weren't testing me because that's cruel and evil. How about think a little bit? Think about the people that have fucked you over. And if I invited them back into my life as friends and I'm throwing them out there and I'm asking you like, oh, yeah, can you look up their number to see if this is that person because they didn't even fucking know? (laughs) You know what I mean? And I'm like, I don't fucking know. They're blocked to me. So let me go check. Probably. I mean, you can put two and two together. It would have been funnier if they just fucking gave the real answer and said who's this because that's like being real you know what I mean but it's like you know that that's why I'm saying is like you know when people say like oh it's pettiness and I need to work through it sure I guess you can say that you know what I mean and, and I, like I said I always take accountability for things that I need to work through and get past but at the same time you know what I mean it takes two to tango and it's like if you're in a position where you're trying to not add to your circle of friends you're in a position where you're cutting people out of your life and realizing like who's important to you and who's not then why the fuck would you bend over and be like soggy cardboard towards any type of people and say like oh it's not my issue it's your issue it's like if i pulled the same shit on you and said oh yeah i'm gonna invite this person back into my life bring them up call you about them so we can chit chat about them you know text you about them after numerous times of you knowing how i feel this is not the first instance and then when i snap I'm the problem. And then they can snap at me and say, I trigger and I, I do this. And I'm like horrible and then this and that. And this is like, none of this is in bad vibes. This is all in really good vibes and spirit, but it's to give perspective to people, dude, to give perspective to people who, you know, might be afraid of me right now that think like, oh, you have all the parallels of the people live in true crime and Netflix is so fucking hard. And they have no idea that you can literally mirror something and be the complete exact opposite of it look at look at how men treat their sisters really focus on how guys treat their sisters and that'll show you who a real man is and and who isn't you know what i mean if they're there for them if they love them unconditionally they'll do things with them they'll fucking take care of their you know car problems and be there by their side and you know um show them unconditional love regardless of anything you know where it's not not conditional like oh if this then that you know what i mean and another huge thing in my life which i was trying to you know really reinforce to people is the importance of trusting others friends and how hard it is out there to even trust anybody dude there are people that i've known essentially my entire life that i will never trust as much as someone that i've known for two years so let that sink in you know what i mean then it's like okay so i want to be quick to go trust everybody and anybody and sure it's like yeah give you know give uh give people a chance until proven otherwise and then it's like you're not giving other people a chance in any type of capacity as well to prove anything you just focus on their flaws and 
and this concocted idea and belief that you've generated based on my actions to define me and label me and say this is who I am when I'm telling you like I never do that to you and I understand exactly where your anger your triggers your mental health and maybe even your diagnosis or diagnoses are you know what I mean? And, and why why the fuck would I hold someone accountable for mental illnesses that they were born into, that they have and they have no control over? It's that that's how that's how in my mind it's just absolutely mind boggling, you know, how things work and, and how people view things. You know what I mean? And when I hit the ground and I'm literally like in the most pain in my entire life, it's because when you lose somebody that you've chosen and that you know you deserve to have in your life because you're an amazing person, they're an amazing person, and they're basically like ready to say, oh, okay, I'm okay with living without you forever. Or it's a matter of what capacity is it in. It's like, I don't know if people genuinely think about these things, you know what I mean? I know when I was in depression, I'm not pinning or labeling, but when I was in depression, I had a mental fog so bad that I couldn't think clearly. But now that all that's gone and I'm in tune with my emotions, I'm in tune with things, life opens up and you're able to, and at least for me, I'm not going to be all self-righteous because that's what people pin on. And th- th- you know what? So many people are quick to slap on the narcissistic, egotistical, self-righteous, masculine, toxic masculinity, you know, all this shit. But that's just, to me, to be honest with you, that's just lazy excuses and pinning labels on shit when you when are you hearing me pin that on the best people that i love there you go you don't hear it because i don't do it so you know it's it's it is it is what it is but people don't realize and understand the anger and the triggers that have gone into why i've exploded realizing how many people that were even close to me were talking shit about me what they thought about me what they were spreading about me to family what they were not sharing and manipulating to try to paint people a different way what lies they were saying about me and my entire life people that knew me knew that I had a really good tame calm attitude about things and they would, it, would, it would always be Anthony would never hurt a fly this and that Anthony this and that right so they're basically painting me as soft as somebody that's not a threat to anybody because I won't ever do anything to stand up for myself or other people, which has always proven itself a lie when I'm provoked and just not true. You know what I mean? And then when I do that, then I'm a menace to society and I'm, I'm and I'm the danger. You know what I mean? And it's like it's 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 absolutely um, it, it's crazy because I can take accountability, see these things, call it out, point it out. Um, but very rarely is it, and, and I know people, you know, look, I, I dive into all my flaws too, but it's also strong to be able to talk about them out loud or have some type of outlet to, you know, get that out. And I urge people to do that, you know, whether it's in a diary, whether it's in like a voice recording, whether it's in uh, any capacity that it has to be talking to a friend, this and that. It's very healthy to let our emotions and, and, our, and our aggression out. Because when you don't, it, it, it manifests itself in, in explosions and um, people acting out and doing things that are absolutely crazy. But it's like, you know, again, to like just reiterate, I fucking love women, dude. I always want like I try to have women as friends and shit. And then they always think I want more. I'm trying for more. And it's like, are you, do you really think that I'm trying for more? Or is it that you think that I'm playing you or something? I don't get it. That's why I just ask just fucking ask like you know what i mean like just ask and like have dialogue it doesn't even have to be difficult it's just like a quick one-liner where you just clarify and specify you know what i mean but you know all these things um i might chop this up into a couple segments or just post the entire thing but yeah i'll usually post my entire long clips on youtube as well um and then i'll post those in my stories for people that prefer uh people that prefer you know youtube and having you know long lengthy posts and stuff like that because i know it's not always instagram's cup of tea but uh you know we'll see but i hope you guys have a beautiful day and um i hope some of my words bring some perspective into life and to where i stand with everything and hope that uh people out there that didn't support me or do support me just do whatever you want to do it it doesn't matter to me because i don't do anything for anything in return but if you look at my comments and you can imagine like who's my friend and stuff like that and it's literally just 
bone dry. And I don't expect people to be constantly up in my stuff, but it's like if you want to bring reciprocation into it, 